Marhaban, hello everyone, Rudy here is Rush the Arab Gamer and I'm very excited to show you guys PlayStation 4 remote play working on a non-Sony product or Sony mobile device. Well, why am I so excited? Well, because previously PlayStation 4 remote play used to only work on the PlayStation Vita and Sony Xperia Z3 or Z2. But recently a couple of, well, how should I say, not hackers, but a couple of coders figured out a way to make this remote play app work on non Sony products. Well, here I am using a Note 4, as you can see, and I will be using the remote play. For those of you who don't know what remote play is, basically you can game stream to a smaller screen so that you could, let's say, watch something on the TV, or maybe someone wants to use the TV, or if you want to just lie on the bed and just relax and play some Destiny, for example. So here I have paired my PlayStation 4 and I'm connecting to it and here we are this is it I am right now game streaming what is currently happening on my PS4 to my mobile Note 4 this can also happen on tablets so if you have a huge I don't know Samsung Galaxy Tab S you know cool AMOLED display whatever you can actually game stream it to this and you do not require to root it Previously, there was a way you could do it, but it would require you to root, but every time you root, you would void your warranty, and that's kind of a risky thing to do. This does not require you to root, so it's totally harmless in that regard to your warranty. Now, I'll be showing you guys something else. I invested in this really cool game clip by Nyko. It's really nice. And... I will put it on. Okay, so I strapped on the Nyko game clip to my phone, and now I can play with my DualShock 4. As you can see, I'm playing controlling with the DualShock 4, my PS4. Now, why did I have, well, actually you can also use the touchscreen control, but the thing is, it's kind of a bit tricky. You have to Register your remote play device to another account. So create another account on your PS4 just for remote play. Log into that account using your mobile phone and then just use the controller as you would on the PS4 and you can just switch back to your other account. So here I shall show you guys, say Grand Theft Auto 5. So here's Grand Theft Auto 5 running on my Note 4, or well, game streamed on my Note 4. I can't actually run on my mobile, that's ridiculous. And it looks absolutely spectacular. I mean, previously I could only experience this using my PS Vita, but the limited resolution was just not enough, and this is just amazing. I mean, think of playing this with a tablet. The, the possibilities are so much you know out there now that you can actually play this on practically any Android device they did recommend that your Android device needs to be or needs to have um, how should I say there's a 5 gigahertz game stream option so that you can transfer it faster without getting any disruption but it looks just absolutely breathtaking and this is really cool I'm just so surprised why Sony hasn't launched this. I mean, okay, I guess they want to sell their phones and everything, but come on, this is too cool. Don't just leave it on one platform. If anything, this will, this will make more people buy PlayStation 4s. But of course, the only drawback here is that it only runs at 30 frames per second, which is okay because there are like the I think the majority of PS4 games run at 30 frames per second anyway. Like Grand Theft Auto 5 and Destiny run at 30 FPS. <laughs> uh, almost run over those people, but yeah, basically you don't expect any 60 FPS. They might add it in the future. All depends on Sony, but currently it's only 30 FPS. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want to find out more on how to get this on your Android phone, please click on the link in the description. And don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe with you. It was Rasha the Arab Gamer. Take care and have a good one.